Good morning, I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. We've got some new data coming in. I just wanted to show you how tomorrow unfolds with the cold front. What we're looking at is the future cast radar from this time the NAM model, a different model. Earlier I showed you the WRF. Let's keep an eye on the thunderstorms to our north as we move through the overnight hours, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. You see the showers and thunderstorms pushing into southern Illinois and southeast Missouri. Now, they should be in a weakening state, but there could still be some gusty winds and frequent lightning and locally heavy rain with them. Watch what happens as they continue to move southward and weaken and eventually simply dissipate over our local area. We stop here at 12 o'clock and we see no real activity, a couple of small showers showing up. But you get the general idea that the NAM model weakens all the showers and thunderstorms considerably tomorrow morning into the late morning and early afternoon hours. And we keep moving through the afternoon and of some interest is that the NAM really doesn't form any new uh, areas of showers and thunderstorms until late in the day. We see a couple over here by West Plains, a couple over here by LBL. I wouldn't take this, you know, verbatim, but just the general idea that showers and thunderstorms may redevelop at some point tomorrow afternoon and evening. And we move through the evening hours, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and you see the southern half showers and thunderstorms redeveloping. Now, earlier this morning I told you that I felt like the showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning would push through southern Illinois and southeast Missouri, leaving that outflow boundary, weakening showers and thunderstorms, pushing an outflow boundary across the area. And that would stabilize the atmosphere somewhere along this line from Bollinger County, Missouri, Cape Girardeau, into Carbondale towards Evansville. Along and north of that line, it might become stable enough that we don't see much in the way of redevelopment of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and that the focus becomes far southeast Missouri, perhaps extreme southern Illinois, and then western Kentucky and northwest Tennessee, perhaps this area that you see the NAM model trying to develop showers and thunderstorms. Let me switch over to the new uh, wharf model that just came in and this is the uh, a this is the latest one. We move through the today into tonight and then tomorrow morning 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and you see the showers and thunderstorms as they weaken, they leave those boundaries, and it makes the atmosphere more stable behind them. So we go through the, after, the late morning and afternoon hours tomorrow on the wharf model, and you see it tries to redevelop some showers and thunderstorms, but mainly the focus is, again, far southeast Missouri, western Kentucky, down into northwest Tennessee as we move through the afternoon and evening hours. So we'll just have to see how this unfolds, but it <clears throat> does look like showers and thunderstorms tonight will push into southeast Missouri and southern Illinois, weakening as they move south of St. Louis and then dissipating over the area tomorrow morning and then some new development tomorrow afternoon, probably over far southeast Missouri, extreme southern Illinois, and then Kentucky and Tennessee.